Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor had done to them. Don't you think I'd know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you join in? Uh, no. I'd destroy his books and, and I'd... Oh, God. Okay. You're not completely wrong. They've resurrected one of his victims. Well, look, I mean, look, it's not exactly alive, but it can talk. A true witness, she said. And this time, there shouldn't be anybody to tell them about the observatory in the head. Because Lupino is off getting the damn Ibra stone and probably off to fight his way to become emperor. Or some shit. Darren, I only got hit by one cannonball that time. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You did. You're not about ready to go faster, stronger, bolder. If only you could figure out which. No, come on! How did they know? God damn it! The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken special care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared at the carnage. He didn't want me to hear the witness, did he? I guess not. What's your plan? She asked. So, Renato explained his brilliant gambit. Sending Lapino to get the Ibla Stone, become super powerful and corrupted, provoke the Emperor into using the core against him, thus blowing up both of them, and hopefully the fleet too. Let me visit your council, she said, shaken. I want to help. Could he really trust her? The last time you didn't trust her, she stabbed you. So yeah, let's go to the council. He'd done it. He made Zenobia see how evil her father really was. He wished she didn't feel this urge to join in the rebellion. After all, he'd taken care of the Emperor, right? Yeah, but she'd always been conscientious like that. She told him she had to go somewhere first. So Renato gave her the location of the secret base and they agreed to meet in the ruins. He had a very good feeling about this. How much do you want best to blow up my face, Darren? How much do you want to bet I screwed one of these decisions up? It's, it's, going, it's going just too well, you know what I mean? It's just too well. After 24 endings, I just can't trust this, you know? 
I just cannot trust this. What had Zenobia gone off to do? What was more important than meeting the Rebel Council? Had he made a mistake sending her to the ruins? No. He knew they could trust each other. He could trust her because she never broke her word. And she could trust him because she could see right through him. Well, she'd probably be there well before him. She at least didn't have to fight her way to rainstorms of ravens. Up. Who dies you have? Come here. Over here. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. Two, two, four. Fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. You're dead. Sliced in half. Uh, what? As he came around the bend. What? There was Lapino. Why is he here? Unconscious. And Why is he the here? Path. Why is I he here? I could smell a familiar, sweet, smoky scent. Who? Zenobia. It had to be. She never used a combat spell when she could use drowsy gas. Oh that my meant. god. She had the Iblis Stone. No. What would it do to her? She hated her father now. She'd kill him for sure. The council wouldn't mind if she killed the uh... Emperor, but murdering her father would destroy her. He had to get to whatever ledge she was on and talk her down from it. Oh, balls. The last time this happened, she went fucking crazy and I got banished from the kingdom. Stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. He was on fire. So far, so good. Open my hippopotamus butt. Oh Jesus. Oh Lord. Oh God. Ah oh, Christ. Ah oh, Mary. Ah oh, Everyone in the council chamber was dead. Zenobia stood shivering in the courtyard, drenched in blood. Ye Why? Oh God. He managed. They. They started arguing with me. I lost my temper and I, I wanted their blood. Well, not me. The stone did. Why did you take it from Lupino? I had a plan. You had a, a stupid plan, she said. I should have brought her to the mountains. My father now. I should no, have brought her to the can't. mountains. You, you'll just take his place. You'll become worse than him. Get out of my way or I'll kill you too. Trying to stop her would likely be fatal, so it's best just to let her go and see how things will play out. Trying to stop her would likely be fatal, but feelings she had for him had to mean something, right? He had to try. I gotta you won't do it. Kill me, he said. And I won't let you kill the Emperor. Enraged, she raised the sword. You hate him too? He could sense the Iblis Stone, yearning for his death. But she didn't strike. If you kill him. He'll destroy you. I know you. Shut up! She shouted, her sword trembling. I won't lose you again. Not for anything. Get away from me! He said, and he was very close. I can't lose you again. And he was in reach of her sword now. 
I hate him. I hate you too. I love you, he said for the very first time. And then she was weeping. He was holding her. The sword had dropped from her hand. He glanced at the Iblis stone. It was no longer the black of the void. It looked like coal. No. It glowed like a cinder. It was crackling, burning, crumbling into ashes. You've always loved me, haven't you? She said. She was weak. The stone had taken so much from her. Always, he said. She staggered as he helped her up. Let me take you away. Where? The island of Avalon. The sisters will heal you. He will follow us. Then we need the Farfarer, the fastest ship in the Empire. Well, that's new. I have to wonder what would have happened if the I had brought her to the mountains. They'd have to take it back. feeling that was the back door to something. But what? And there it was, his beautiful Skycraft. The Farfarer. They would fare very far indeed. Beyond the Empire. Beyond the reach of the Empire. To the mystical island of Avalon. He didn't know exactly where it was, but he knew he could find it. And they would find peace there. Second star on the right. Now, doopsie do. Power of love. What? What? See you. I can't pick you up when I get my ship. Now, doopsie doo. 